City Life kids, I'm so excited about our Bible story today because in it, once again, Jesus does something amazing. Let's play a little game. I'll give you a list of statements about Jesus and you can guess if they are true or false. Jesus calmed a storm. Jesus walked on water. Jesus has power over Satan. Jesus is the Word of God. Jesus created the world. Jesus is fully God and fully human. Jesus makes all things new. Did you believe some of them? Did you believe all of them? Well, every statement is true. Believing in who Jesus is and what he has done is living by faith in him. Our Bible story today reminds us that faith in Jesus is most important. But before we hear our Bible story, let's review our memory verse. Say it with me. John 1:18. No man hath seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. John 1:18. We can't see God directly, but Jesus' life shows us who God is. And that's what Jesus does in today's Bible story from Matthew 9, Mark 5, and Luke 8 by showing his power in healing and forgiving. Let's find out what happened. Jesus stood on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd gathered around him. Suddenly, Jairus, one of the leaders in the synagogue, came and fell at Jesus' feet. Jairus begged Jesus for help. My daughter is about to die. Please come touch her so she will be healed and live, he said. Jesus went with Jairus, and many people followed, crowding around him. In the crowd was a woman who had been bleeding for 12 years. She had seen many doctors and had spent all her money trying to get better, but no one could help her. She was getting worse. The woman said to herself, If I touch even Jesus' clothes, I will be healed. At that moment, Jesus felt that power had gone out of him. He turned around. Who touched my clothes? he asked. Jesus' disciples pointed out that many people were crowded around him. But Jesus kept looking around. The woman, knowing she was healed, came forward and fell before Jesus. She told him what had happened. Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. You are healed. While Jesus was speaking, some men came from Jairus' house and told Jairus, Your daughter is dead. Do not bother Jesus anymore. Oh, poor Jairus. He must have felt so sad and hopeless. Meanwhile, this other woman was healed. So Jesus had the power to heal his daughter, but it's too bad he didn't make it in time. But Jesus wasn't bothered or too busy for Jairus. Jesus and three of his disciples continued to Jairus' house. People there were crying and wailing loudly. Why are you crying? Jesus asked. The child is not dead. She is sleeping. People laughed at Jesus because they did not believe him. He told them to leave. Then Jesus took Jairus and his wife into the room where the child was. He took the girl by the hand and said, Little girl, get up. Immediately, the girl got up and began walking around. Jairus and his wife were amazed. Jesus told them to give the girl some food and to not tell anyone what had happened. The faith of the bleeding woman proves how powerful faith in Jesus can be. When we believe in him and what he can do, amazing things can happen like raising someone from the dead. By raising the little girl from the dead, Jesus proved God's power over creation. He spoke to his creation and she got up. 
Jesus' power proves He is God and our Savior. Jesus died on the cross and rose again to save people from sin and death. When we trust in Jesus, God forgives our sins and changes us to be more like His Son. What an amazing privilege to be like Jesus.